In a major leap for China's semiconductor industry, researchers have developed a groundbreaking extreme ultraviolet EUV, light source platform, overcoming a critical barrier to producing advanced chips domestically. This innovative technology enables high-precision photolithography, paving the way for self-reliant manufacturing of cutting-edge microchips. Join us as we explore how this breakthrough could reshape the global tech landscape and bolster China's position in the race for semiconductor supremacy. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. The breakthrough by Chinese researchers in developing an EUV light source platform for chip production is a significant step toward reducing China's reliance on foreign semiconductor manufacturing technology, particularly in the face of stringent US-led export controls. Here's a concise breakdown of its significance. 1. Overcoming Technological Barriers EUV lithography is critical for producing advanced chips with nodes below 7 nanometers, essential for high-performance devices like smartphones, AI systems, and military applications. Until now, Dutch company ASML has held a monopoly on EUV lithography machines, which China has been barred from purchasing since 2019 due to US sanctions. This breakthrough, led by researchers at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics under former ASML scientist Lin Nan, demonstrates a domestically developed EUV light source with a 3.42% conversion efficiency, competitive with international research and approaching half the efficiency of ASML's commercial systems. 2. Strategic Independence The development aligns with China's push for self-reliance in its semiconductor industry, a priority intensified by U.S. restrictions on equipment, masks, and components since 2019, with further tightening in 2023 and 2024. By pioneering a solid-state laser-driven EUV platform, China sidesteps reliance on ASML's complex carbon dioxide laser technology, potentially creating a more compact, cost-effective, and energy-efficient alternative. This could reduce vulnerability to geopolitical pressures and technology embargoes. 3. Global Semiconductor Race the breakthrough challenges assumptions, such as ASML CEO Christophe Fouquet's claim that China would need many, many years to develop EUV machines. It signals China's rapid progress in closing the technological gap, with trial production of a laser-induced discharge plasma LDP, EUV system reportedly underway at Huawei's Dongguan facility, aiming for mass production by 2026. This could reshape the global semiconductor market, reducing ASML's dominance and enhancing China's competitiveness in producing cutting-edge chips. 4. Innovative Approach Unlike ASML's LPP method, China's LDP approach, vaporizing tin with lasers and generating plasma via high-voltage discharge, offers simplicity, lower costs, and a smaller footprint. Researchers estimate a theoretical maximum efficiency of 6%, potentially surpassing some commercial benchmarks. This innovation could position China to leapfrog existing technologies, especially if scaled successfully. 5. Economic and Military Implications Mastering EUV technology would enable China to produce advanced chips domestically, boosting industries like consumer electronics and AI while strengthening national security through self-sufficient military technology. For instance, SMIC's production of 7 nanometers chips for Huawei's Mate 60 Pro shows progress but EUV could improve yields and efficiency, critical for profitability and scalability. 6. Challenges remain. Despite the breakthrough, China faces hurdles in scaling the technology for commercial use, integrating it into full lithography systems, and building a robust supply chain for high-precision components like mirrors. Experts suggest mass production is still years away, and ASML's decades-long head start and ecosystem of Western suppliers remain formidable barriers. The Chinese research team, led by former ASML scientist Lin Nan at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, overcame several significant technical challenges to develop their laser-induced discharge plasma LDP, EUV light source platform. While specific details from the research are limited, the following challenges, based on the nature of EUV technology and the reported breakthrough, were likely addressed. 1. Achieving high conversion efficiency EUV light sources require high conversion efficiency, CE, 
to convert input energy into usable 13.5 nanometers EUV light for lithography. Commercial systems like ASMLs achieve 6 to 7% CE, and early research systems often struggle to reach even 1%. The team achieved a CE of 3.42%, competitive with global research and about half of ASML's commercial benchmark. This was likely accomplished through precise optimization of the laser-induced discharge plasma process, including fine-tuning the solid-state laser's interaction with tin and the high-voltage discharge to maximize plasma emission at the target wavelength. 2. Developing a stable plasma generation method Generating and sustaining a plasma that consistently emits EUV light is difficult. The LDP method, which combines laser vaporization of tin with electrical discharge, is less common than ASML's laser-produced plasma LPP, and requires precise control to avoid instability or inefficiency. The team developed a reliable LDP system, likely involving advanced synchronization of the solid-state laser pulse and high-voltage discharge to create a stable, high-density plasma. This required innovations in plasma physics and control systems to ensure consistent EUV output. 3. Simplifying System Design ASML's LPP systems rely on complex, high-power carbon dioxide lasers, which are bulky, expensive, and energy-intensive. Replicating this technology domestically was impractical due to technical and supply chain constraints, especially under US-led export controls. The team pioneered a solid-state laser-driven LDP approach, which is simpler, more compact, and potentially more cost-effective. This involved designing a system that avoids the need for large carbon dioxide lasers, likely using high repetition rate solid-state lasers to achieve comparable plasma excitation with a smaller footprint. 4. Managing thermal and energy demands. EUV light sources generate significant heat and require substantial energy complicating system design and increasing operational costs. Early LDP systems often struggled with thermal management and energy efficiency. The team likely optimized the energy transfer process in the LDP system, reducing waste heat and improving energy efficiency. This could involve advanced cooling techniques or novel electrode designs to handle the high voltage discharge while maintaining system stability. 5. Overcoming supply chain limitations. EUV systems require high-precision components, such as mirrors and optics, which are tightly controlled by Western suppliers, such as Zeiss and Symer. U.S. export restrictions since 2019 have limited China's access to these, forcing reliance on domestic alternatives. The team developed or sourced critical components domestically, potentially including tin-based targets, laser systems, and preliminary EUV optics. While not fully detailed, this likely involved collaboration with Chinese firms like Huawei to build a localized supply chain, though high-precision mirrors remain a hurdle. 6. Competing with established technology. ASML's decades-long lead in EUV technology, backed by a robust global ecosystem, set a high bar. The Chinese team needed to create a system that could approach commercial viability without infringing on patented technologies. By focusing on the LDP method, the team pursued an innovative path distinct from ASML's LPP approach, potentially bypassing some patent barriers. Their system's theoretical CE ceiling of 6% suggests a forward-looking design that could rival existing technologies if scaled successfully. 7. Navigating geopolitical and resource constraints. US-led sanctions restricted access to advanced equipment, materials, and expertise while domestic funding and talent pools for EUV research were limited compared to global leaders. The team leveraged Lin Nan's expertise from ASML and rallied significant government-backed resources, likely through China's national semiconductor initiatives. Collaborations with institutions like the Harbin Institute of Technology and companies like Huawei provided the necessary infrastructure and funding to push the project forward. The Chinese researchers' breakthrough in developing a LDP EUV light source platform has the potential to significantly impact the global semiconductor industry and intensify competition among tech giants. Here is a concise analysis of its implications. 1. Reduced dependence on ASML's monopoly. ASML's monopoly on EUV lithography machines, critical for producing chips at 7 nanometers and below, 
has given it immense leverage over the global semiconductor supply chain. If China successfully scales its LDPE UV platform into commercial lithography systems, it could challenge ASML's dominance, offering a domestically controlled alternative. This would benefit Chinese firms like SMIC and Huawei, reducing reliance on Western equipment. Globally, it could pressure ASML to lower prices or innovate faster, impacting its $45 billion revenue stream, 2024 estimate. Tech giants like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel, reliant on ASML, may face new competitive dynamics if China's technology matures. 2. Strengthen Chinese Semiconductor Industry The breakthrough aligns with China's push for semiconductor self-reliance, spurred by U.S. export controls since 2019. A homegrown EUV platform could enable SMIC to improve yields and efficiency for 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers chips, and potentially reach 3 nanometers, closing the gap with TSMC and Samsung. Chinese tech giants like Huawei, already producing 7 nanometers chips, such as Kirin 9000s for Mate 60 Pro, could scale production of advanced chips for smartphones, AI, and 5G infrastructure. This would intensify competition with US firms like Apple, Qualcomm, and Nvidia, and Korean giants like Samsung, particularly in consumer electronics and AI markets. 3. Geopolitical and supply chain shifts. A viable Chinese EUV system could reduce the effectiveness of US-led sanctions, which restrict China's access to ASML machines and components. It would also encourage the development of a localized supply chain for optics, mirrors, and other EUV components, potentially disrupting Western suppliers like Zeiss and Symer. Tech giants may diversify supply chains to hedge against geopolitical risks. For instance, TSMC and Intel might face pressure to secure alternative EUV sources if China's technology becomes competitive, while Chinese firms gain a strategic edge in markets restricted by Western sanctions, such as Iran or Russia. 4. Market Disruption and Cost Dynamics The LDP platform's simpler, potentially cheaper design could lower the cost of EUV lithography systems, ASML's machines cost $150 to $400 million. If China achieves mass production by 2026, as reported with Huawei's involvement, it could offer more affordable equipment, reshaping market economics. Lower-cost EUV systems would benefit smaller foundries and emerging markets, challenging TSMC's and Samsung's dominance. Tech giants designing custom chips, such as Apple and Google, could see reduced manufacturing costs, but established foundries might lose pricing power, intensifying price wars. 5. Accelerated Innovation Race China's progress could spur a global race to innovate in lithography and chip manufacturing. ASML, already developing high, NA, EUV systems for sub-2 nanometers nodes, may accelerate R&D to maintain its lead. Meanwhile, China's unique LDP approach, with a theoretical 6% conversion efficiency, could inspire alternative EUV technologies. Tech giants like NVIDIA and AMD, reliant on cutting-edge nodes for AI and GPUs, may push for faster adoption of next-gen lithography to stay ahead. Chinese firms could gain ground in AI chip markets, challenging NVIDIA's dominance if they achieve cost-effective, high-performance chip production. 6. Challenges limiting immediate impact Despite the breakthrough, China faces hurdles in scaling the LDP platform into full lithography systems, including developing high-precision optics and achieving commercial throughput. ASML's decades-long ecosystem and 200-plus installed EUV systems give it a significant lead, delaying China's market disruption. In the short term, tech giants and foundries like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel will continue relying on ASML. However, China's progress could shift long-term strategies, with firms investing in R&D or partnerships to counter potential Chinese competition. 7. Military and Strategic Implications Advanced chips are critical for military applications, including AI-driven systems, drones, and cybersecurity. A self-sufficient Chinese EUV capability would enhance national security, reducing dependence on Western technology. This could escalate tensions with the US, prompting tech giants to align more closely with Western governments for strategic contracts. Companies like Huawei could gain an edge in non-Western markets, intensifying global tech rivalries. 
The LDPE UV light source platform could drive innovations in cost-effective, compact, and energy-efficient lithography systems, higher efficiency EUV sources, alternative plasma techniques, localized supply chains, advanced chip architectures, sub-1 nanometer lithography, and AI-optimized manufacturing. These advancements would support China's self-reliance goals and challenge global leaders like ASML, potentially reshaping chip manufacturing. However, realizing these innovations depends on overcoming technical and commercial hurdles, with mass production, for example, Huawei's 2026 target, as a critical milestone. If successful, the platform could position China as a leader in next-generation semiconductor technology, with far-reaching implications for AI, computing, and strategic industries. If you found this video insightful, be sure to check out other videos on this channel and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.